Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I have a very disturbing email to share with you this morning. This is Thursday, April the 16th. And it's 10.19 a.m. Listen carefully. I tell you, if it's not one thing, it's another. This is dangerous and might get me out of this world soon, this person says. News headlines from the Associated Press, well, says AP. Another virus has been identified and is currently baffling some of the world's most prestigious scientists at WHO, that's the World Health Organization if you don't know, called Rapturous Headitis Extraordinarius 20 or Rapt Head 20. Quote, we're finding it spreading at similar rates as COVID-19, which is alarming unquote, stated Dr. Ted Rose Adhanom Ghebreyesus, who, Director General, so I guess that's the Director General, quote, its genesis is not yet known, but we identified a YouTube channel, T-O-L, end times as accelerating its spread. Symptoms include a constant ruminating about being raptured, preoccupation of when that may be, a sore stiff neck from looking upwards, a complete loss of desire with anything this filthy world has to offer, and an all-encompassing enamorment of Jesus. Currently, there is no cure, but strangely, good job, buddy. He just got off the floor and walked over, walked a few feet and got into his bed by himself. There is no cure, but strangely, Theologians surmise that it may be eradicated, as one put it, in the twinkling of an eye, who recommends staying off the internet, especially YouTube's T-O-L-N times. Keep your mind on worldly desires and or thinking normalcy will return. In hot spots, citizens are encouraged to exercise social media distancing, wear blindfolds and earplugs when surfing the internet. I replied, I love it. It's funny, but so true. Well, I don't know about it being as... Uh, well, similar rates as COVID-19. That is actually very possible. <laughs> so, at least the deaths caused by COVID-19, seeing how it appears only actually 150 people died of it. Everybody else died of something else, but they happen to have been exposed to COVID-19. It's like, I... I'm getting a stuffy nose. I I think it's dust and pollen. I don't know, but goodness sakes almighty, if I broke my leg and ended up in the hospital and died from it, I'm sure they would say we suspected COVID-19. <laughs> anyway, I had to share that with you, brothers and sisters. You all have a blessed day. I had my hopes set on the twinkling of an eye happening today, <laughs> but alas, we're still here for another day to pray for the lost. Let us remember 
to continue doing so. All right? Okay. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.